Hi guys! Today I'm going to be sharing with you my everyday makeup routine. It's kind of my day-to-day -day makeup look that I go to um, when I don't really have a special event to go to or anything. I'm just kind of bowing around the house or running a few errands, so it's nothing major. It's just, like I said, my everyday look. This is a look I've been doing a lot this January so far, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, here we go. I've already done my foundation and my moisturizing and my powder and if you're interested in seeing how I do that I will link my foundation routine down below um, so I'm just gonna move right into my eyes I'm gonna start out by priming my lids and I'm using my Mac painterly paint pot just looks like this it's just kind of a skin tone base and I'm just going to apply this to my eyelids with my finger And this is just going to act as a base for my eyeshadow to stick to, make it last a little bit longer. Um, and it also helps to disguise the veins in my eyelids and all that other stuff that nobody really wants to see. So there's that. Doesn't take a lot, just a little. Next, I'm going to apply my eyeshadow, and today I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. For those of you who haven't seen it, it looks like this. It's all matte neutral shades. And I'm going to start out by taking this shade here at the very end called Venus. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. Just pat it on. I am using the <clears throat> e.l.f. $1 eyeshadow brush. Looks like this. It's just got a flat shader end on it. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine timer. Move on to the other eye. Same thing, just patting the color all over the lid really quickly. Basically just covering up where I just put down that um, base. Okay. Next I'm going to take this shade Naked 2 right here and I'm going to use the e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush and I'm going to apply that color to my crease. With my eyes open so I can see exactly where I'm putting it using windshield wiper motions. It doesn't have to be perfect, this color is kind of light. Um, I'm really just using this to help blend the other color I'm going to put in my crease. And the other one, really quickly. So that's what that looks like so far. I'm going to take this color Faint. It's this deeper brown shade. With that same brush, and apply just the very smallest amount right on top of where I just put Naked 2. That's just going to add a little bit more dimension. To the look. Same on the other eye. I'm kind of dotting it in on where I want it to go and then blending it with my brush. Again, it's okay if this is a little bit messy. It doesn't have to be perfect. Next, I'm going to take this e.l.f. contour brush. Looks like this. And with nothing on it, I'm just going to use this to blend out what I just placed on my eyes. Blend out any harsh lines. Make it look very, very natural. This is a very neutral eye look. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And the same with the other eye. Just blending. Basically, I want to look like I'm not wearing a whole lot of makeup. So there's... So that's what we've got so far. Next, I'm going to go in with this black color, Crave. 
And I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Small Precision Brush from their studio line. I'm going to put it right into that black color. And I'm going to apply this to the outer corner and also along the lash line. Very, very, very lightly in the outer corner. Again, we want this to look natural, just like a shadow. So that's why I'm using such a small brush. That way I can really um, place the color exactly where I want it. And along the upper lash line. And the other eye. Don't worry about it if it looks a little bit messy because we are going to blend it. Again, right on the outer corner. And along the upper lash line. So that's what we got so far. Going to take my e.l.f. contour brush again, again nothing on it, and just blend all of that so that it almost disappears. We don't want a big sharp line across the lash line. I'm just wanting to add a little bit of definition there because I'm not going to be using eyeliner today. And blend out that outer corner. as well. Now I'm going to go back in with my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, just the flat shader brush again, back into that very first color we used, Venus, and I'm going to apply that to my lids again just to um, kind of bring that color back because we blended out a lot of it. We don't want to cover up that shadow that we created with that black color too much, just enough to brighten this eye up. Okay. So next, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. defining eye brush. It's just a little, little angled brush. Hopefully you can see what I'm showing you here. And I'm going to go into this color here called Walk of Shame. And I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone. And also the inner corner of my eye. Just dotting it on my tear duct and then blending it. And that's just going to brighten things up a little bit. Same on the other eye. Anywhere that you feel like needs a little bit of brightening up. And I'm going to add some highlighter here later also when I do the rest of my face. But there we go. So that's the eyeshadow done. Now, like I said, I'm not going to be doing eyeliner with this look, so I'm going to go straight into curling my lashes. And this is the e.l.f. Mechanical Eyelash Curler. Cost a dollar. This is my favorite eyelash curler of all time. I love it. It fits my eye perfectly. Um, it curls my lashes very easily. So, I'm just going to curl my lashes. And the other one. And I'm going to apply my mascara, which today is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I just have a little sample size. I really love this mascara. I have a feeling that I'm going to love it even more when it dries out a little bit because it is a little wet for my liking, but I love what it does for my lashes. I'm just going to apply that.
Next, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows, and I'm using a Coastal Sense angled brush. It's got kind of a large angle on it. And I'm using my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in medium. Powder's gone, but I'm using the uh, gel today. So I'm just going to apply this to the brush and brush it through my brows. I have very sparse eyebrows, so I have to do a lot of filling in to make them look a little bit better. And I really like this uh, brow gel. I feel like it looks pretty natural. It's easy to work with. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Next, I'm going to just brush a little bit of this e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara through my brows to keep them in place. This is only a dollar. It's one of my holy grail items. I use this every time I use makeup. Go. So that's the eyes all done. Now I'm just going to move on to the face. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. blush in flush today. This is the old packaging. It's one of their essential line of blushes. They make these now um, in a different packaging, but this is just the one that I have. I'm using my e.l.f. complexion brush to apply it. I'm just going to sweep this onto my cheeks. Just a very natural flush. Okay. Next, I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer. And I'm just using NYC bronzer and Sunny. Very inexpensive bronzer. And I'm going to be using my e.l.f. blush brush. And I'm just going to... This is a very, very light um, bronzer, so it works well for me because I'm so fair-skinned. I'm just going to apply this to my face below my cheekbones. forehead in my jawline it's kind of a light shade to be contouring with but again this is an everyday natural look I don't want to go crazy so there's that before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of lip balm. This is the EOS Lip Balm in Lemon Drop. I have very, very chapped lips. I don't know if you can tell. But this winter has been especially dry. I'm going to apply a highlight next. And for this, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. It's just the right size. And I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic. They call it a blush. I use it for a highlight. I'm just going to stipple my brush in there. And I'm going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones, down my nose, and under my brow bone. Also on my cupid's bow and my chin. And there's that. I don't know if you can see it or not. So there's that. Lastly, I'm just going to apply my lip products. I'm going to be using the <clears throat> Maybelline 
lipstick in Totally Toffee. Looks like this. This is one of my favorite lipsticks from last year. I wore it all the time and I haven't really, well actually from 2011, it's 2013 now, um, but I haven't really played with it much recently so I decided to pull it out again and really been liking it. I understand why it's my favorite, or it was my favorite rather. I'm going to just remove the slip balm, some of it, and apply this lipstick. Just kind of a My Lips But Better lipstick. I really like it a lot. So maybe a shade darker than my lips. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of gloss. This is the e.l.f. Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick in, in the Nude. So that about wraps it up. That is my everyday makeup look. Sorry that the lighting in here is washing it out a little bit, but I think you can get the idea. Just a very neutral, natural look, just for every day. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Talk to you later. Bye everybody.